Ladies and gentlemen, it's time for some predictions. All right, all right, all right. If we're gonna do it, we're gonna do it right this time around. You know what I'm saying? I, I've been making videos all day. Mind you, the next couple of videos I make, you're probably gonna see me in this exact same shirt. I don't like that. But hey, we gotta get him in where I can. And we need a Knight of Champions predictions. If there's one thing I have uh, stayed on top of is the predictions videos. Not the reviews, but the predictions. And that's all that matters. First, we have Intercontinental Champion Gunter versus Ali. We have Positivity Ali. I don't, I don't know what's going on with this gimmick they have Ali doing right now. Personally, gotta say, obviously, Gunther's gonna win. This is just Gunther's moment right now. He's just kind of doing his thing. SmackDown Women's Champion is gonna be Rhea Ripley versus Natalya. Now, this one is, is, is cool. I'm very interested to see what they're gonna do for for this match. Cause like, you know what I'm saying? With a lot of the titles, all right, like for example, like the only reason why they're pushing Ali is cause they're going to Saudi Arabia. You know what I'm saying? And, and that's kind of like, just where they're at. But is Natalia like a high rated star in Saudi Arabia? And that's why they're, they're getting her out there? Because they did the Zelina thing because they were in Puerto Rico. That made sense. But this doesn't really make any sense to me. Like, they, they threw Natalia out there for a Saudi event. I, I figured they would try to continue Ray's momentum. Or this could just be a throwaway pay-per-view going into the next one. It feels like a throwaway pay-per-view. It feels big, don't get me wrong. But it also just feels like kind of like a throwaway pay-per-view. Like, we're just kind of getting by Night of Champions. When it comes to the Saudi Arabia pay-per-views, I don't really pay them too much attention. But I watch them. I, you know, I, I do the videos, obviously. But I don't really pay too much attention as far as, like, putting that in my mind when it comes to, like... When it comes to booking further shows, I don't know if Triple H has booked the Saudi show either. I'm pretty sure he did, but I don't know how it ended. So we'll, we'll see how it happens. Ooh, Becky Lynch versus Trish motherfucking Stratus. This one's gonna be good. You know what I'm saying? Becky Lynch, man, she, she's been she's been kind of on a downhill slope. For me, at least, as of late. I haven't really been messing with like what Becky's been doing, but th this rivalry's good. This, this rivalry's decent, you know what I'm saying? Like, I feel like, you know, Trish, she's been cutting she's been spitting you know what i'm saying she she hasn't been telling no lies you know she's been doing her thing when it comes down to like the women's division lately and stuff which i like i i like that they haven't put her in any like small matches or anything leading up to the pay-per-view like they're treating trish as they should like trish is a legend you know what i'm saying they're they're, they're treating her as she is it, her gimmick right now her her background her reason you know her reasoning for attacking lynch is basically she's that woman she's on top of the women's division she's been doing her thing you know what i'm saying for years before she even came back you know what i'm saying everybody knows trish stratus if it wasn't for trish stratus a lot of the the paveway and the evolution for the women's revolution wouldn't have happened if it wasn't for trish stratus and stratus is basically putting everybody on notice and that started with becky lynch now if she really would now personally what i would do if i was booking this is i would have trish go over becky and this would just be trish's start to dominating the women's division and and that doesn't mean that she's gonna go after Rhea or, or go to smackdown and go after bianca she's here to just put people who think they're that type of person in their place and eventually that'll come around to Rhea and we'll have that big match and you know we'll see who wins but i, I think you can do some more work with trish here you know what i'm saying if trish is ready to wrestle and you, and you know you could get more time out of her i'd say do it you know when it comes down to people like trish edge people who we know for a fact in the next couple of years they're probably not going to be able to keep up the way they did before at least i feel like edge has way more time than he let on to be but anyway i do feel like a lot of these you know people like right now lesnar like they're using lesnar greatly like like he i'm not i'm a little confused what the whole cody rivalry is still but uh, regardless Ro you know brock's wrestled more matches than roman this year and that's nuts to even think about and it's Brock Lesnar, like the worst champion of the, like the worst world champion of this modern era. I don't care what nobody says. The worst universal champion of this modern era. As far as, you know, WWE world title when he was conquering, that's a different story. You know, 2013 and shit. You know, when he was doing his thing in 2013, that's a different story. But I'm talking about universal title Brock, raw universal title Brock. Nobody misses that Brock. You know what I'm saying? And it's like, it's crazy that Brock is doing a lot more than Roman right now. But hey, like I said, guys like that, gotta use them while you can. So Loki forgot to talk about this match right here. Like if you guys, like when you see the rest of the video, I, I dead ass like skipped over all of it. I forgot about all of it. And, and that, that's my bad. I'm sorry. I'm just not really like, I forgot the match was happening. Um, Bianca. Ooh, AJ Styles versus Seth freaking Rollins. Now, a lot of people, you know, I, I might be in the minority here with a lot of people. 
but I want the Styles agenda. I, I know they're giving it to Rollins. It feels like the title was made so Rollins doesn't leave. <laughs> but i feel like both men have another world title you know in their back pocket it doesn't make sense for aj to win this is what i was saying in my video where i was saying that the situation doesn't make any sense if styles was a raw guy this would have made perfect sense if styles was if this tournament only took place on raw if the entire month instead of it being one show boom your your opponents and then building up with with video segments the entire build to night of champions should have been circling what is the new and improved raw brand surrounding that world title creating the prestige around that world title smackdown superstars can feel how they want roman can feel how they want but show that this world championship is a pro a, a top prize show this world heavyweight championship is the prize by having people go out there and really throw themselves at that title we can see rollins pop up and go to smackdown today but i doubt it it wasn't in the tv tapings you know smackdown's pre-taped this week it wasn't in anything so i don't see them doing that it just kind of sucks I, I i do know when we get this matchup it's gonna have a very tournament-esque feel to it it's gonna be it's gonna be very fun just off of the fact that they haven't put their hands on each other um and they haven't really done much face to face in this matchup they're kind of going into it the same way aj styles and finn balor did uh that tlc when they faced each other last minute they're just going at it with history uh bare minimum history mind you and, and this is it and these two guys have the potential to put on one hell of a feud that's why i'm just confused why i didn't take advantage of this but this is given to, to seth it sucks aj's gonna take the l here i hope aj takes the l in a certain way maybe i don't know but we'll, we'll, we'll see what happens we'll see what happens but i want aj to win but i know but i want aj to win but my pick is rollins so there's that Ooh, okay uh this, this is a part of our triple main event mind you uh, uh it's gonna be undisputed tag team so the, I'm, the way i'm reading it is the way it's listed on wwe mind you so undisputed tag team championship match between i like i like how they took the uh wwe uh uh title and universal title off of roman for this match card but uh solo sakoa and roman reigns versus Sami Zayn and kevin owens for the undisputed tag team championships i see the usos trying to help roman in this matchup and that backfiring and that costing uh you know the the the, the bloodline the titles but at the same time i feel like wwe really booked themselves in a corner here because you for sure i'm hoping you don't want to put these titles on roman roman four belts sound crazy but if you if you want to make roman look like that guy if you want to really give him the power trip if you want to do it then i guess sure yeah but with the way the bloodline's crumbling dude this is the perfect opportunity to insert the usos but even with doing that you still have the potential on ruining this matchup with either solo getting pinned or roman getting pinned or the matchup just explodes overall and we don't get a winner at all and it ends up getting dq'd that protecting roman solo and the champions but th they put all their eggs in this basket like this was the number one feud they were building towards uh uh for night of champions so it will kind of be shitty if the matchup didn't end with a decisive win i don't know we'll see i i literally when it comes to this matchup i don't have any prediction I, I you just stay tuned for my reaction that's all i got and what's listed as the final match here cody rhodes versus brock lesnar yo if cody and lesnar main event over roman and solo versus the the champions if you have a night of champions pay-per-view and cody and brock main event i promise i'm coming on this channel and i'm talking the most shit i've ever talked in my life bro like i hate to do it i genuinely do i love being like as positive as possible when it comes to this you know what i'm saying doing the thing but if that matchup if this regular match non-title feud makes no sense look at my face look at my face versus a versus a not scared cody rhodes and not afraid cody rhodes is, is is this cody's fall or is this cody's redemption arc because you this this isn't giving redemption arc when he goes for that world championship again whether it's for the world title or hopefully the wwe title when he goes to face roman again he should not be used to being in the main event that's a privilege you have you that's a privilege you earn when you're a top prize fighter specifically for a championship specifically at a night of champions pay-per-view so I'm hoping, I'm praying that WWE does the right thing here, and Roman and Solo versus the, the versus the uh, uh, tag team champions, Sammy and Owens, or, or Sam, yeah, Sammy and Owens. I'm hoping that 
main events because usually how they have it lined up here is sometimes not all the time but sometimes how the match cards will be laid out at least the main event section and they label this as a triple main event. They tried to do that last time. I don't know how I'm feeling about this. Because they put that six-man tag match with Solo and, and the Usos. They put that under Brock and Cody. And Brock and Cody was a, was a decent match. Don't get me wrong. And the controversial and everything. But if you would have ended the night with that. With everybody having the bloodline on their, on their mind. Because that's where everybody's head needs to be at. That would have made the most sense. Like, I, I, I don't know. I, I'm, I'm genuinely hoping that's the case. I'm genuinely hoping that's what we get. I didn't mean to come off like like crazy aggressive in this video. I just realized that. Or like come off like I'm some like wrestling guru or something. And I know what I'm talking about. Trust me, it's not that. It's just sometimes, it, you know what I'm saying? As a wrestling fan, you get a little passionate. And, and, and some things just don't make any sense to me. And it's like... It's not like we're giving a re uh, answer. Like, it'll be different if we were given a reason and I'm talking shit and it's like, oh, you just don't like the reason you were given. That's personal. That, that is personal. But there's no reason. At all. 